Hello folks, welcome to another video by the brilliant expat Taffy. Expat Taffy, true ID, William Swithin from Wales. William Swithin, a Welshman who's proud to say that when it comes to using brains and common sense and analysing Apollo photos, William Swithin can kick the ass of any American, Australian or Englishman especially the two Englishmen, Bertie Slack and Brian Pop Robson, who both state that this photo here, showing this seismometer, is genuine and taken on the moon. You are now going to see what mentally insane idiots these two are, folks. Okay, folks, so let's get started, shall we? Now, in volume hash three and hash four, we mainly dealt with three photos. Those three photos are A11-40-5946, and AS11-40-5947, and AS11-40-5948. Now, let me say again, as I said before, the anomalies in all these photos are so numerous, I could do one video on just one photo. Like I showed with the Apollo 11 LEM, eight anomalies proving that it is fake. And it's the same with all these other photos you're going to be watching now. In this video, we are going to be looking at photo numbers 5949, 5950 and 5951. Okay, so let's get started with this AS11-40-5949, shall we? Now, take a look at this. Now, if you'd watched my previous videos, you'd see I dealt to some degree this photo, 5949, where I displayed, it's completely fake due to this shadow, which should be non-existent because there's no object to cast it, and a shadow deliberately black airbrushed hidden in the shape of a dog by the whistleblowers to tell us that Bertie Slack is a mentally insane idiot and that this photo was faked here on the earth. So you may be asking, why am I dealing with this 5949 again. Well, as I've told you before, the amount of evidence and deliberate clues in these photos telling us they are fake are simply enormous. And you can't cover all of them in one video. What we're going to do now with this 5949 is take a more thorough look at it and see what we can find. Now, what I've done here, I've cropped out a section of that photo. Something that the idiots like Brian Pop Robson and Screwball Screwy and all the rest of them say I shouldn't do. Because according to them, it's distorting the photo and changing the detail of the photo, which is a load of nonsense. Just ask yourself why on earth of all computers or even cameras have a zoom facility is to zoom up and make it more easily to see, which is what I've done here. Now, two very important things about this photo, this section I've cropped, is one thing, there is no shadow or pole shadow from the flag. None at all, when you examine it very closely. A shadow should start place the pole enters the ground. There is no shadow there at all. Now, folks, the only shadow you can see is this long single shadow, which is supposed to be the shadow from the limb, which is totally ridiculous. This craft is supposed to be 15 foot wide, and it's got a shadow that's no more than about one foot wide. Totally ridiculous as you'll see in the next photos coming up. Here you are folks, here's another photo of that limb. 
And look how wide the shadow is there, especially under the limb. Now, if it's all the same limbs, all the shadows should be the same. And here's another one. This is quite wider than the one shown in the first photo, 5949. And look at this one coming up. Supposed to be one of the first photos of the limb. Look how wide that shadow is. Now, come on, folks, if it's just one limb, one sun, one moon, then the shadow should be the same shape and same size in every photo. They were only on the moon for two and a half hours, despite more recent claims that they were there for 22 hours. Now, coming back to my cropped section here, we'll upset the NASA nutcases a bit more, shall we? By cropping again and enlarging. And there you are. You can clearly see there there is no shadow from that flagpole or the flag. There is only that thin strip which is supposed to be the shadow from the lem. Totally ridiculous, folks. Fake and definitely not on the moon. Bertie Slack is an idiot. Now, coming back to this 5949, we'll do a bit more cropping and enlarging, shall we? Here you are, I've cropped a midsection showing Bertie Slack's seismometers which were sending signals back to the Earth for three weeks after they left. Now, what do you see totally ridiculous in this photo, folks, telling you it's impossible? Well, first thing to notice here is look at that rock A. The shadow, the long shadow B, is coming from rock A. There is no shadow coming from the astronaut. The astronaut is standing between that rock and the copper drum. There's no shadow from the astronaut, folks. That's one thing. Next thing is look at shadows C and D. Now, as I told you, Shadow D, which is Snoopy the dog, shouldn't be there. There is no object to cast it. It's showing a shadow that's being cast by clear see-through glass solar panels on the right-hand side. Something that's impossible. But now look at Shadow C. That was a shadow cast by the left solar panels, which were, in the previous photo, black. But now, they've turned white, they've turned see-through, glass see-through, just like the right-hand ones. So glass panels cannot cast a shadow. Shadow C shouldn't be there. It's just simply airbrushed in as a clue by the whistleblowers to anyone with any brains and common sense to spot it. Now, folks, with all the proof provided that the shadows are all fake, they're all black airbrushed in by the whistleblowers and their shape and size is decided by the whistleblowers. So I wonder what this could be. Well, folks, I wonder what they intended this shadow to be. Shadow B. Was that meant to be Bertie Slack's resurrection? <laughs> <laughs> well, here you are, folks. Another crop section, the mid photo. As I showed you, the panels on the right-hand side are glass, so they should not be casting the shadow of Snoopy the dog. But now the solar panels on the left have changed from black front and grey back to clear glass. So that shadow there, they should not be casting that shadow. What we've got here is the whistleblowers simply having fun with idiots like Bertie Slack, Joan Evans, Screwball Screwy and Brian Pop Robson. They're having a laugh, folks. And the idiot Bertie Slack will still maintain that this is a genuine photo taken on the moon. There you are, folks. There's a zoomed up black shadow which should not exist because there is nothing to cast it. Because the solar panels on the left have now changed from black to clear see-through glass. Okay, folks, just to wrap up this video, let's have a little recap on what you've seen so far. A recap that will convince you that not only are these photos fake and made on the earth, but Bertie Slack is a mentally insane prat. 
Now, let's finish this video with this photo first, 5947. Look at the solar panels. They are grey backs and they are black fronts. That is 5947. And there you are, cropped and enlarged for you to see. Grey at the rear and they are black in the front. And those panels would cast a shadow as shown. Now we look at the next one, 5948. And just remember there's only a matter of a minute or so between each of these photos. There's not 24 hours or 22 hours as Bertie Slack tries to claim. This is 5948. And as you can see, the solar panels are still the same colour. Grey on the backs and black in the front. And they will cast a shadow. Despite the fact that that shadow is fake, it's just airbrushed in. Now folks, we come to 5949. Most probably only a minute after the last photo. And as you can see now, those solar panels, they have changed. Somebody swapped them. They are now clear see-through glass and they are still casting a shadow which is impossible. Light will travel straight through glass. It won't obstruct the travel of light. That shadow on the ground is 100% fake and just airbrushed in and most probably either from total incompetence or deliberate whistleblowing to which I prefer the second explanation. Deliberate whistleblowing. That shadow cannot exist, folks. Okay, we come to the next photo taken by Neil Armstrong. 5950. And as you can see here now, the solar panels are clear. The same as in 5949. They are clear, folks, and use a close-up coming up. There you are, you can see they are clear glass. And glass cannot cast a shadow. 100% fake, folks. And the only explanation the idiot Bertie Slack has got is the sun travels across the lunar sky. And now, folks, we come to the next photo. 5951. I've brightened it up here for you to see. But you can see now the solar panels on the left have now changed back to black. Now how can they, they change from black to clear glass and then back to black? Anyone who think that photo is genuine and taken on the moon must be a bird brain. And that includes you, Slack. There you are, folks. That brings an end to the video. Bertie Slack's technology trauma, hash five. Watch out for the next one coming soon. Bertie Slack's technology trauma, hash six. six.